Welcome again to another episode of Perform Electrical Installation. Today's element is install an electrical system. And uh, I'm going to show you the basics of electrical installation, especially when you're carrying out domestic, commercial, or light industry installation. So here I'm going to show you the stages that we have to go through in order to perform or carry out an installation. So quickly, the basics around installation. These things I've already covered in the previous, but it's good to just go through it. Here we have a circuit, and a circuit is an electrical arrangement uh, showing how the components are uh, depending on another. In a circuit, we have conductors, and uh, in electrical field, we have three main conductors you need to understand. The life, or sometimes we call it uh, the face, but the first one is the one that we use for transmission. So the life carries current to the circuit the neutral conductors carries current from the circuit back to the supply and then the earth ensures that there's no excess current going to the, the circuit so it disposes of excess current we have a switch of which i've covered before this is just a simple diagram of a wiring diagram of a lighting circuit with color codes so you need to also understand the color codes in kenya we are using the british standards all being guided by the IE regulations and we use red for the live, black for the neutral, green with strips of yellow for the uh, but in other countries like Germany they use brown for the live, blue for the black uh, for the for the neutral and then yellow or green for the uh, thing. So what are the stages that you have to go through while you're carrying out installation? One, we start with the marking out. Marking out is just using a piece of chalk or using anything that can give a mark either on the wall on the ceiling, on the floor, wherever we are going to place our components. So you need to mark out the position. In this case, you have to know the measurements and the measurements are also guided by the standards that are in place. So they vary depending with the nature of the building, depending with the purpose of the building and also depending with the weather condition of the area. So in case like, let's say if you find maybe the socket outlets should be placed maybe let's say 19 inches from the floor, but you see, in a damp area, it will exceed that because the flow might get wet and down to 20 inches. So it varies with the condition, but you need to understand the dimensions before you proceed to marking out. Then you, after that, we do chasing. The chasing is necessary when you're doing concealed uh, installation, like let's say the, the conduits are insulated inside the walls. That one chasing is necessary, but for surface mount, no need for chasing, but it's a process now putting on. Then after done with chasing, you have to lay conduits in the trenches that you made. Then you have to hold the, the conduit in place. Then chasing should be done before the plastering, laying of conduits before the plastering if you are doing concealed uh, wiring system. Or you can use trunking or cable trays when you're just doing surface mounts. That one does not necessarily need that you go with plastering. You can do it even after the plastering. Then you have drawing of cables. Uh, I pass the cables through the conduits. Once you've drawn the cables, you can use a draw tape or a fish tape, as you call it. I know in the field, you, especially if you're in Kenya, we call it steel tape, but you know, steel tape is not that thing. That is a draw tape. So, draw your cables into the conduit. Once you're done, uh, strip the cable and do the jointing. Assuming if you're using one circuit to power many, many points, let's say many lamps, so you'll have to strip, strip, strip so that you can join two, la two, la uh, two lights together before it goes the end uh, light in that case. Then, uh, uh, we have also termination so in most cases jointing and termination is used as one but jointing is joining a cable and not a cable but joining a conductor to another conductor is jointing then conductor to the terminal of the component that is termination that's the difference if you need to understand well then we have final fixing final fixing is now fixing the component once you have verified the termination is okay you fix it to the the wall so that's about it then you cut out the circuit test i've given now images so that you can understand further this part you can see the concealed concrete, the trenches, and you see the concrete in. At the other end, the house is painted, and you see the concrete on the top being held in place by saddles. Then we have a slab uh, concrete laying that's being done while the metalwork has been done, and the framing there. You see the slab being done, and you can see the trunking on the other end looking very neat on the surface. Then we go to drawing concrete. You see my fish tape has been drawn to the other end where I want the cable uh, to go through, and then I will tie the cable end with the conductor we stripped, insulate it well and then now draw uh, uh, now draw back my fish tape or my drawer and pull through as now the conductors come also or the cables come with the tape till the other end as you can see in the second diagram now my conductors are passing through the destination then when you're when you're done you you want you want tape with slating tape and then you continue with the jointing or termination i've also gone through various types of joints especially for the pvc single cables and standard cables and i've also shown 
other ways of jointing it does, not, it does not necessarily mean that you have to do the manual jointing so you can also use with the mechanical joints with the aid of using of connectors and others like you can see in the second diagram you have special jointing kits that is also for jointing joining a cable to another cable or a conductor to another conductor i think you have seen these things in many areas so those are connectors and then we have termination as you can see now the termination will be done and the cable you cannot see the bare or the, the stripped part of the conductor hanging on the surface neither can you see the conductor insulation going through the terminal if you do that you're likely to, to incur a problem in the next image i will show you once you're done you do the termination then you see this image that's what's likely to do when you do poor termination let's say you see the conductor uh, was not well stripped another one the conductor was stripped excessively and the other one you see those are challenges so when you're doing it avoid this so ensure that this relation you cut the piece that only fits in the terminal avoid loose terminal and also ensure that uh, no bare part is left around or the insulation getting inside the terminal once you're done with it final fixing you can see our socket our twin socket being fixed and the the guy on the other end is also fixing the the lamp holder in place then once you're done carry out the tests the test should be done before you're powering the circuit and the final thing is to power the circuit and do the functionality test like if the lamp put on the switch see if the lamp is on and that's functionality test but before that you have to verify that the polarity the switches are connected the lights and the continuity and all those you need to be verified though that is all about today so that's the patience thank you for watching next i'll be uploading on the housekeeping practices during installation and then once you're done that will be